today's lesson, where are we going? California, Alaska, Washington, <laughs> Oregon. Right. Those are all the places, but we have to limit ourselves because otherwise our lesson would be like 10 hours long. So I made some choices, but maybe you have some choices too. Where do we want to visit? So we have the, we said the Pacific Northwest, but that's not very specific at all. So Sylvia, where do you want to go today? <laughs> I'm undecided between Alaska and California. Okay, you're undecided between Alaska and California. What about Lanfranco? Where do you want to go today? Uh, Oregon, I think. You want to go to Oregon? Okay. Oh, so, sorry, where is where is Crater Lake? Do you know Crater Lake? I Oregon think is in is in British Columbia, isn't it? No, it might no, be on the in Washington, Washington, just on the border. Because Let's take a, a we'll take a look. A, mm -hmm. a lot of years ago, yeah, I spoke I spoke with an American gentleman, quite old, and I asked him, which is the best place in America? No? He was a big, uh, quite a good traveler, no? He said, okay. I like it. He said, I like, I like it a lot, Crater Lake in Crater Lake. Washington. No? It's probably, yeah, it's probably in Washington. Oh, it's in Oregon. It's Oregon. Oregon. It's Oregon. Yeah, but you know, all those states up there, they're all kind of, they're incredibly beautiful. In fact, if yeah. you just, I just did a Google on my phone yeah. because I knew yeah, it was up there somewhere, but I wasn't sure. Because even, uh, you know, Pacific Northwest and the you know, Northwestern United States in general, I've been to them, but in like a city here and there, I've never mm -hmm. actually done um, the type of trip that I think we should take together. So, <laughs> you know, these little play, I've been to some places, but I'm definitely not an expert. So I thought we could like, create our itinerary together. But I've got some ideas, of course, but Crater Lake is supposed to be beautiful. We can actually Google it in a second. Um, so you're thinking Oregon and then Crater Lake. Okay, I'm just writing these down because we'll add them to what we've got so far. Any other places come to mind? There are many places in California, Oregon. Uh... Yeah. So I had to kind of, I had to kind of um, limit myself. So when I'm, you know, trying to create an itinerary, I first look for the places where I have friends. Because <laughs> I think, hmm, maybe I need a free place to stay. So I've got a friend in Portland, Oregon. So that's good for us. California, I've got lots of friends. So that's not a problem. Um, but I thought we could start actually over the border, because I thought maybe you would want another stamp in your passport. So I thought we could start in Vancouver. So Vancouver is Bridget, British Columbia, so it's on the other side of the border. But I'm going to just share my screen with you. Let's see. And again, this you know, our lesson is just sort of for fun. I know we're not going to be able to do every, see everything that we want to see today, or even look at all the places that are possible. But I thought I would still give it a try to create something for us. So I put together a little thing. So I, our original idea was to do California in the Pacific Northwest. And then I started to go, oh, my gosh, we can't do it all. How much time do we have? So I thought I would focus more on those northern states because I knew that Silvio, for example, would definitely go to California on his own. You don't need me because uh, I know you want to go to the big city. You want to go to Los Angeles. You want to go to those places too. Yeah. But I thought today we would focus a little bit more on nature. So yeah, but when we if I, have have to Silvio, emerge, if I have to emerge myself uh, in the nature, I would probably select uh, Alaska. Alaska, or the, okay. Or the yeah. landscape, so yes. Yeah, I didn't do much in our lesson about Alaska, but if we have time at the end, we can do some we can do some research because I do have friends in Alaska as well. So that actually is not a bad idea. I've got a friend who even has a bed and breakfast in Alaska, so that would be good for us. So I put this, um, you can see the map. When you just Google Pacific Northwest, look at it comes up, region in Canada. So it doesn't um, take into consideration the northern United States. So I think the Americans, we tend to say, oh, the Pacific Northwest is just the United States, but it's actually considered that part of British Columbia just over the border that you can see above Washington there in our little in our little map. But 
anyway, nobody can agree on what's really the uh, Pacific Northwest, but the Northwestern United States, those are pretty clear. Um, in fact, they tend to include consistently, right? So sometimes it changes, but they say Oregon. In fact, in, in Wisconsin, we say Oregon, but in Oregon, they say Oregon. So I'm trying to respect the pronunciation Oregon. of the people who live there. <laughs> Oregon. So they say, and they, to remember, they'll say, do you want a knife or a gun? <laughs> That's how they have you remember the pronunciation. So Oregon, Washington State, which is, of course, not the same as Washington, D.C., which would be over in the east, right? We've got Idaho, which is famous for Americans. We think of Idaho, we think of potatoes because the best uh, baked potatoes are always from Idaho. Montana, of course, all these places are incredible uh, places full of nature, national parks and, and incredible places to see and Wyoming. OK, so some people uh, also include southeast Alaska. OK, and even sometimes northern California. OK, but in general, the idea is that on the west side, you'd have the Pacific Ocean and on the east side, you'd have the Rocky Mountains. OK, we're kind of concentrating just on a, a kind of a small part in my part of the itinerary. But again, the, your part of the itinerary, uh, we can check check out some other places. OK, so. That's what we call the northwestern United States, but I'm going to go up to the Pacific Northwest. Let's see if I can move this here. Okay. Which is, again, okay. goes from the Pacific Ocean to the West and the Rocky Mountains on the right, but it tends to be further North. But it often includes the United States, you know, the U.S. states of Oregon, Washington, and Idaho, and British Columbia. So I'm, my idea of the lesson kind of is more this definition, the Pacific Northwest. Um, and probably not so much uh, California, but it could be, right? Okay. Sometimes Alaska and the Yukon, sometimes Northern California, sometimes Montana. So again, our definitions are not very set in stone. It depends on who you're talking to. It depends on where you're from. Um, so I thought I would first take a look at prices. Now, last week we were in the Midwest. So Milwaukee is not in the Pacific Um north northwest but i wanted to take a look at these in fact maybe you want to take a second to think about how much you pay for these things so in milwaukee the median home price is five hundred ten thousand dollars okay so let's just pretend that dollars are almost the same as euros rent that you could pay on your apartment per month would be about a thousand five hundred okay your energy bills so probably your electricity about two hundred dollars a month Look at how much they pay for your cell phone per month. Isn't that incredible? They have, and it, because Hello? in America, when you get your phone, you often have a, you get the phone for free. So you're actually paying for the phone as well. So 197 per month. And then gas, gasoline for your car, about $3.27 a gallon. So to think about that in terms of liters, I just say, okay, one liter times three would be a gallon. Okay. So pretty cheap gas. Okay. Loaf of bread, four dollars and six cents. Milk, a gallon of milk, which we don't think about here, but a carton of eggs would be twelve eggs for three hundred or three dollars and fifty-five cents. A bunch of bananas for seventy-four cents, and a hamburger would be five dollars and sixty-six cents. Now, if we compare that to Washington State, the home price. Look at the difference. Uh, the home price in Milwaukee was five hundred ten thousand, but in Washington becomes six hundred fifty-seven thousand as an error, you know, as a the median. Rent goes up about five hundred dollars as well, but energy is a little bit less, which is interesting, and um, probably because of the difference in climate, because it's a little bit warmer out there. Could be um, cell phone is going to be lower as well, and gas is going to be higher. Okay, let's see about food. So the loaf of bread it's going to be higher in Washington. Gallon of milk also higher in Washington. Carton of milk, or excuse me, a cart of eggs is going to be three dollars ninety two cents. But you know, so food is generally a little higher. Washington State has a higher cost of living. In fact, to have a comfortable lifestyle in Milwaukee, you would need to earn about forty thousand dollars per 
year, whereas in Washington State, that goes up to about $51,000 to have a comfortable, you know, like a decent cost of living. Okay. I don't know. Is this more expensive for you or is this less expensive than Bolzano? Well, uh, uh, the rent, energy, but uh, the cell phone is extremely expensive. Right. The cell phone. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the home is the same. Okay. And ah, the bananas are really cheap. <laughs> bananas are really cheap. Bananas are super cheap, yeah. So the cheapest thing, if you buy a SIM card for your phone, just going for like a month, the cheapest I found was $40. So it's possible to, to have a little, little bit less, but it's still pretty expensive. That's for sure. Of course. Okay. Of course, the, 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 the gasoline is uh, cheaper. It is normal, not for America. Sure. Definitely. Okay. But I thought I'd take, give you, uh, this is just for Washington, but it's pretty much uh, similar in Milwaukee. To go to the doctor in, um, to pay for a doctor's visit, the price is about $163. That's a little bit more expensive than we're used to, right? How much would it be in in uh, Italy? Yeah, but, but do you have uh, to to pay in the U.S. Uh, the general doctor? Do you have to pay the general doctor? Well, normally, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, we don't have, uh, you know, even if you do, even if you have insurance, you're usually going to pay something. Uh, you're probably going to pay 30 or $40 anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here the general practitioner is free in Italy. Right, but if you're, a, this would be for if you're a visitor though, right? So... If I went to the, if you went to the doctor in America, it would cost you this, right? Without insurance, probably. But most of us don't have dental insurance. So you you do pay for your dentist. So this would be what you actually pay out of your pocket. Same thing with your eye doctor. Most people, uh, your insurance does not cover this either. So maybe your doctor's visit would be less, but these two are definitely going to be what you see is what you pay. And this is for a prescription drug. So the, the median for a prescription that you have to refill is $284. So medicine's very expensive. And this is uh, $79 you'd pay to bring your dog to the to the veterinarian. <laughs> okay. So healthcare is very, very expensive. In fact, so when you're thinking about uh, living in the United States, that's one of the things that, that comes up, that is it's very expensive for healthcare. Okay. Um, and I got that from this cost of living calculator, but I thought we would look, I thought we'd start in Canada, in Vancouver. So I was just looking at the um, weather. It's not too bad. Today's third this morning because it's, uh, they're about, I think they're 10 hours behind us. And um, they've got 30 degrees and then down to 16. Oh, it's in, I don't know if it's in, oh, it's in Celsius. It's in Celsius. So you should be able to understand this. 16 is the low, 30 is the high, then 22, then 20, 16, 18. So the temperatures, are they similar to Bolzano in this period? Oh, no. Oh, it's no, here it's around yeah. sub-zero here. Yeah. It's cooler. Bolzano is a lot cooler. It's oh, cold. it's a lot cooler right now. Now, yeah, now today at noon we had five degree. Really? Okay, yeah, so noon. it's much, much cooler. So your um, I wonder if I can let me see what Milwaukee's temperature. This is you know of course Vancouver. Let's see what Milwaukee's temperature looks like. Milwaukee's cooler, I think. Yeah, let's see what it looks like. So Milwaukee weather. Just you know Google it. So let's see. It's today I have it in Fahrenheit. I think. Let me put it in Celsius. So two degrees was the low and six degrees the high. Tomorrow, seven yeah. degrees and down to one. Yeah. Is this closer it's to Bolzano temperature? Yes, yes. It's more, more or less, it's, it's like, like, like Milwaukee, yes. Mm, okay. So Vancouver is much warmer. That's good to know. Okay. <laughs> it's very good to know. Okay. I'm going to move down. Oop. Everything got very big. Okay. Uh, Milwaukee is Midwest. Midwest is cold. It's true. It's true. And the, in the Northwest, it's not so much. It's rainy, but it's much nicer. So I found us the perfect hotel in, uh, I went to Surrey, Canada, which is, you know, a neighborhood in 
um, in Vancouver just because I have a good friend there. So I thought, oh, we can go visit my friend Peter. My friend Peter also has a house in Whistler where, you know, they did the Olympics um, when they had the Winter Olympics that time. So beautiful places. Look at you've got the mountains in the back. You've got this big city. So I thought this would be perfect for Silvio, who loves a good city. Um, I found us this beautiful uh, apartment or it's, no, it's a it's a hotel. But I thought we would like to stay there. And then I thought we would look at the Canada side and just um, see what's there. Because if we're looking at it, you have to see these things. So I found this because I'm not an expert. I had to find a website to help me. So I found this. Can you see my um, can you see my screen that has trees on it? 35 amazing Pacific Northwest vacation ideas. Do you see that? Yeah. OK. The forest, so I wanted babe. to show. Yeah, it's like a forest. Look. When I think of these, I think of these like giant fir trees, so beautiful. So they have us coming from Seattle to Victoria. So I'm imagining we fly into Seattle and then we take a ferry boat to Victoria. Okay. And then there's this, this is when we get there. We can just relax since we're going to be tired from our long flight. Mm -hmm. um, not the, not the, well, the longer flight because it's, it takes a long time. I'm not sure how long it it takes us to get to um, Seattle, but I can imagine it's a long time. If we do like Google Maps and we want to do, where are we leaving from? Milan, is that the easiest? Milan to, I want to go Milan to Seattle. Seattle, Washington. Let's take a look at how long that would take us. On the flight, choose our starting point. I think we'll do Milan, right? Caroline, I wanted to ask you, when you have a lot, so long trips uh, by plane with stopovers, uh, uh -huh. do, you take, uh, do you take melatonins uh, or supplements to to sleep? Uh, I mean- For to... that, no, I don't. I don't take okay. anything. Maybe when I was younger, I used to, but I realized I don't really need it. So it's uh, 12 hours and 30 minutes and 716 euros. That's not too bad as a price. I mean, it's not cheap, but it's not that bad, right? So, okay, we'll take that. That's from Milan. If we left on December 7th, which are not our dates. Our dates are next week, but Round that's trip okay. is a return ticket. Round trip. Huh? As it Round is trip. It's a, it is a, a retro ticket or, or only one way ticket? No, no, round trip is is and that's return because it's a, a uh, circle. A round right? trip, uh, yes, uh, retro, uh, yeah, yeah, and that returns a round trip. Otherwise, it would say one way. One way or yeah. round trip. Yeah. I heard sometimes so uh, the two ways ticket, two way ticket. It's also I've something. never heard two way ticket. I mean, I would understand that if you said it, but I wouldn't say it. Round trip price, yeah. <laughs> Round trip. No, so this is actually a good price for us because um, it's, not, it's not expensive. Eh? No, if I mean, obviously it's in December, it's it's off season because the um, you know the holiday holiday travel would be much more, right? But in fact, if we want to check. I usually go just to Google flights, and they usually give us a good idea of how much things cost. So if we actually put in, I'm going to put in Milan. This should tell us even what the when the good time to go would be. We'll say Malpensa. We're going to Seattle. We want to leave. I had us go. So you can see on this, it, it actually gives you in general what the flights are. So I had us going like next week from the 25th till I think coming back maybe the 7th or the 8th. So for me, anything going to the United States, anything that's less than 800 euros is a good price for me. So I would do everything to try to get the cheapest price ever. <laughs> you know, yeah, and, let's make an example with this website. Uh, huh? Yeah, let's make an example of uh, uh, a trip with a flight. Well, sure. I mean, this one, if we did like from the 28th until, let's say... Let's go to the, well, to, this is, doesn't give us very much time, but we got, that's 600 euros. That's not bad. Let's see what comes up. 
Sometimes they have us, you know, a thing to help you check the dates. So uh, let's see. We said November 28th to December 5th, just for fun. I do a search. Sure. Um, and there, yeah, 600 euros. That's not bad. 16 hours. So that means you've got a layover, but just one, one stop. Not oh, wow. a big and deal, where so. is your stop? Can you see where is this uh, stop over? Sure. Usually you can see it. I go over here. This one, okay, Frankfurt. Frankfurt. Ah, in Germany. Yeah, a lot of the flights from Milan and Rome and even here go to Frankfurt first, Frankfurt or um, or Munich before they go to the United States. So this is actually a really good one. The only, you know, this is a, a 10 hour, this is going backwards, this is coming back. This is, This assumes that we started in Seattle, go to Frankfurt and then come back. But we could switch it around. I don't know how that happened. Let me switch it. Oh, that's weird. Oh, the I guess have round trip? that Just New York the circuit. City is the only city where there's a direct flights from Italy to the U.S., I guess. It depends on what time of year, Sylvia. Like in the summer, Venice also has them, but only in the summer. It but just depends on I went travelers. They add flights. Years ago, when I went to California, many years ago, yeah. there was, uh, I used a, a fly direct without st stopover, Milan or Los Angeles. Perfect. Really? Yeah, yes. With a, it, a long long ago. it was it was an Italia. It was an Italia. Now, okay. it, it's now it doesn't exist. Uh, but anyway, there was Milan or Los Angeles direct. direct. How, how many cool. hours was it? 12, 12 hours. 12. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. That's so, bad. yeah, I think that 700 euros or 600 euros is a really good price. It might be, it's so cheap that it's probably because there's not, uh, we can't, we have to pay for our luggage or something. So we either have to just bring, you know, our hand stuff or our a small bag or pay a little bit more. But the average price was about 700. So even if you pay for a bag, we'll still be good. So, because it was 600 is the cheapest, then you've got 766, 782. So I'm assuming that when it's that cheap, it's usually because you have to pay for your luggage. But I'm getting so good at packing that I often don't even bring luggage anymore. <laughs> anyway, so we've got that. Um, then I thought I would show you here. So we get there after that long trip and we've, we've got this beautiful place where we can relax or you can go exploring or do whatever you want. And then this is mostly, this itinerary on this website has just a lot of beautiful places to visit, like these gardens. Oh, nice. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah, this beautiful, is why I want to show yeah. you because there's, I can explain them, but it's never as beautiful as you actually see. So Victoria is actually um, an island near um, near Vancouver. So Vancouver is the big city, but Victoria has all is a like an island that you go to. So Northwest Adventure. So this is you can go on and we can take a little flight around, you know, in often in the Western United States, you have these opportunities to take really cheap um, flights in these small planes so that you can see the nature from above. And they're really a, give you in English, I draw a lot. I the name of this kind of plane, which is in English, hydrovolante of English is. Hydroplane. Hydroplane. hydroplane, I think hydroplane. it's called. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think it's called a hydroplane with an H at the beginning. And then uh, uh, yeah, I love I this image. It out. It's called seaplane or pontoon plane. Seaplane, okay. pontoon plane. Yeah. There you go. Then there's Puget Sound. Look at this. You can go whales, whale watching. Look at the whales. And then you've got the mountains. Doesn't that look beautiful? If you're interested in whales, I've never seen a real whale before, so I love that idea. I yes, um, I have a photo on a on a whale, in the top of a whale. I have really. I Where was, was that? I was three. No, I was four years old. Mm. It was four. Where years was it? Old. Black Do and you white. know where it was? Yeah. Where was the whale? Yes, it happened. It was it was on the beach, no? On the beach. And wow. A, a whale was stranded, stranded, no? Oh, it was beached. But not stranded. He went in a in a in a bay with a, 
uh, shallow water, no? Uh-huh. And there were the worker worker in the in the near the near the uh, there were the train workers there who killed the who killed the, the way it was another time, no? With uh-huh. the with dynamite, with dynamite. No, oh, yes, oh, the, the horrible it was scary. 1960. It was 1960. They saw this big fish, they used the dynamite to kill him. No? Wow. It was everywhere blood. Were you, people, were you traumatized? Yes, a little bit. All the people of the of the neighborhood went to see the, the big whale, no? Uh-huh. And my, my uncle put me on the whale and took a photo. I have till, till now I have this photo. Wow, that's it a was crazy crying story. Because it was it was all, all red, all red. It was the water was oh. completely red. Wow, that's so sad. <laughs> that's my, a crazy my, story. Yeah, it is a water. It was another time, other uh, other sure. culture, and different, my, of course. I didn't want to go to up, no. But my uncle said, "You have to go because I have to do 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 to make the photo for you because it is an important moment." And they have the. Photo. Oh my goodness. And you still have it, yeah! Wow, yeah, yeah, half That's year, crazy, half year. crazy story. Mm-hmm. Look at this picture. So the butterflies, and I think some of these. And they say spend Valentine's Day, which is not this time in the most romantic city. <laughs> I don't know why, but anyway, you've got these gardens. Look at these amazing. You know, just some really interesting photos here. This is, you know, when I think of. These areas, I think of these kinds of trees. This is a vineyard because, of course, if California is famous for wine, you can imagine that that coast is also. There are other places where they have uh, vineyards as well. So you can go for a wine tasting. I love this photo because this is on a suspension bridge. And there are actually, there's a park outside of Vancouver that has a whole uh, series of these suspension bridges that you can cross and you can go from tree to tree and you can go around these trees and basically the park is in the sky my husband went um when he was he worked in vancouver for a little period and he went to this place and he said it was so incredible just looking at and how high the trees go and how um giant everything is so i see this and it made me think of his trip so amazing and then uh yeah Say so if you want, I have the photo here. Are you going to show it? Okay, wait, let me. Do you see? I am here. The wait, wait, let me. I am here. Four there years old. Wow. It's it was, amazing. It's huge. It was 15, 15 meters long. 15, 15, 15. Where, where was that? In Pescara. Pescara. In Pescara. Adela, Pescara. Near Pescara. A little village, village in the neighborhood of Pescara. That's crazy. Uh, Where are we again? Then, okay. We've got, of course, the wine tastings, right? Mount Rainier, okay? This is another place to go to, okay? Which the pictures from these areas always look like paintings. (laughs) They look fake or like they were created by artificial intelligence because they're just so, um, so beautiful. Then we can do some adventure sports. I thought that might be kind of fun, right? That's called a zip line. When you have one of these, a zip line, I think it's the same in Italian. Carrucola in Italian. Yeah, look at this. This looks like it's something from a film, a fantasy film or something. And then you have these real people here. <laughs> this is called Olympic National Park. And this is the fish market. It looks like you can see him throwing the fish, right? Watch Pike Peak or Pike Place Market's famous fish throwers toss the catch of the day through the air as you stroll through the vibrant landmarks. So this is the old fish market. Then what do we have? The Marine Circle Route. So just places to see water, trees. Look at this. This, you know what house this is? Maybe Lanfranco would know. Did you ever see the um, the the uh, show Twin Peaks? Yes, but many years ago. Yes. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. That's the yeah. hotel. I watched that television series Twin Peaks. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's the that's the hotel. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, it's the night. Is the television series? Uh. Yeah, it's great. 
In the yeah, I am and then, of course, you got the Christmas bargain. I look, I saw this, and I thought of Bolzano right away. <laughs> it reminded me of there. Yeah, but I didn't like so much that the television series because sometimes there was a scary dwarf uh, during the television series. Uh, yeah, you were remember. probably just a little kid when you were watching it, right? Were you young when you were watching it? Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're probably traumatized just like Elan Franco and his whale. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Those memories of scary things from your childhood. Um, and you've got this is the view, I think, of the Mount St. Helens. So there's a place where you can go look at that from inside. And then look at the sea lions. So these places, so look at all the things that we could do. Nice. This is just on the Canada side. Actually, no, we're in Seattle now. Oh, now we're in Portland, the Rose Garden in Portland, Oregon. And of course, if we think of Canada, we have to think of, of bears. So we have to go on a bear hunt, <laughs> not to kill the bear, but just to go look at the bear. Okay. And then there's, of course, there's waterfalls in these different places. So I'm sure these photos aren't necessarily do the place justice, but it's kind of fun to see what's out there. So I had that for you. And then I thought we could have a second part of our road trip, which would be um, when we arrived back in Seattle. Okay, so this one has Olympic. Oh, this is actually what we just saw. Olympic National Park, Mount Rainier, Columbia River Gorge, and River. So this is where we're staying in Seattle. It looked like a very nice place. And then I just kind of took a picture of, or didn't, I just found a picture of Seattle that I liked with the famous Space Needle here. Space Needle, And yes. the mountain in the background. Um, this was the home of all that great 90s grunge music like Nirvana and then they were all from Seattle. <laughs> then this is Olympic National Park. Look at that giant tree. Isn't that so interesting? So everything's so green. Everything's so green in the, in the Northwest uh, because it rains all the time. Um, so it's a very green place, but could be a little bit, um, people are so used to the rain that they don't even notice it. You know, it's just always raining. Just diversity of places, lots of woods, you know, always waterfalls because it's always raining, right? I love this one, Ruby Beach. This looks like a really peaceful, fun place. Giant piece of driftwood. <laughs> Third, third, the water would be sure uh, very cold, quite cold. Very cold. The whole the Pacific Ocean is very cold, actually. Even in California, where the climate is like desert climate, so during the day it's very hot, during the night it's very cold. The water is always cold. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Florida, where the where it's also hot year round, um, but it's it's not hot. It's cooler at night, but it's not cold like like California is, um, but the water is very warm. So here it'd be very cold. But here's the Mount Rainier National Park. This is this couple from the website that I stole their itinerary, but it looks very beautiful. And I thought we could read together a little bit about the uh, Mount Rainier National Park. Okay, so three parts, Paradise, Sunrise, and Mowich Lake. Here's a summary. So how about, um, Silvio, can you read Paradise? Yeah, sure. So, paradise best for the first visitors. Paradise first time visitors. First time visitors. Paradise is the most popular area to visit located on the southern side of the mountain and home to some of the best wildflower meadows and lakes in the park. Thank you. Lam Franco, can you read Sunrise? Sunrise, best for epic heights. Sunrise, which is, which is on the east side of the park, is the highest, is, is the highest. highest point in Mount Rainier National Park that you can drive to. Several of our favorite, favorite heights in Mount Rainier National Park live from the big parking lot uh, or from the big parking lot and at the visitor center. Thank you. Silvio, can you read Mowich Lake? 
Sure. Best for peace and quiet. Moby Lake on the northwestern side is the quietest area of the park. It's free for the tourist type of paradise and sunrise and the long and arduous bumpy gravel road to get there cuts the number of visitors significantly. Okay, good. So we know where which yeah. parts to go to. Look at how beautiful that is. Good. Okay, so this is where my part of the trip brought us. After this, it's up to you. So now you guys said you wanted to look at some other things. So I thought, should we go to, we want to go back up north? Do we want to go to Alaska? Do we want to go to Northern California? Do we want to see Crater Lake a little bit? Crater Lake. You go to Crater Lake? Yes. Okay. Because he told me that it was so nice. <laughs> that's American, that American tourist. We have to go check it out then. Let me just get there yeah, then. I'm just a doing a Google It's for... a volcano with a lake inside, of course, no? Wow. Okay. Yeah, Crater Lake here in Oregon. And I love these. You know, now when you do Google, they actually have this like little slideshow for you. And so you just, you know, watch the, the pictures go by. Look at that. Oh, that's a beautiful one. And again, that the, the, oh, nice. the nature is, nice. yeah. yeah. Okay, so you see where the crater is, and then there's like this yeah. island in the middle, right? So it's a national park. That's cool. In fact, I don't know if you if you do Facebook or Instagram, but... The National Park Service, which is this one, nps.gov, mm -hmm. has a wonderful, uh, you can follow them on Facebook or on Instagram, and I love their posts. They have, like, really interesting facts about national parks, That's just and nice. sometimes they have funny things. They're just, it's a really great, um, they, on social media, they're very present, and they're, <laughs> they're really cool. So, this is Crater Lake. Uh, uh, Crater Lake, I, was like, I would like to to... to... To visit it, to visit it. Okay, that's a good idea. Let's take a look here. I'm just going right to the oh, National in, Park in Service winter, website. In winter. In winter, in winter yeah. yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah, because we saw the summer, and this is the winter. Look at that. What does it say? North Entrance Road. <laughs> Closed for the season, probably because of the winter, right? If you throw road, let's see, road. So this tells you what you can think about. Deep water in a sleeping volcano. Let's read it a little bit. Can you read this for me, Silvio? Crater Lake yeah. inspires awe. Sure. So Crater Lake inspires of Native Americans. Uh, witnesses it, its formation uh, 7,700 uh, thousand, thousand? Uh, mm -hmm. thousand years ago when a violent eruption triggered the, the collapse of a tall peak. Scientists marvel at its purity, fed by rain and snow. It's the deepest lake in the US, USA and one of the most pristine on earth. Artist, photographer, and sightsee sightseer. Sightseers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in wonder at it's a blue water and stunning settings atop the Cascade Mountain Range. Good. Let's yeah, sorry, it was too small to read the, the, the text. Uh, <laughs> they're very small, it's true, it's in, true. In your opinion, is there a bath, a, a bath place, a beach suite to take, to take a swim in summer? In the Crater Lake? I don't think so, is it? Yeah, it would be nice, huh? It would be nice, wouldn't it? But I doubt it. Very cold, but anyway, in summer. Hours and weeks, let's see. Here? Why don't we Google it? Can you... Can you swim in Crater Lake? Next echo. Swimming? Me, Wait, do you want to read it for me? Yeah, swimming. Oh, I'm going to have... Um, this time I'll have uh, Lanfranco read. Thank you. Swimming. Okay. Swimming, wading, and fishing are, per, are, are permitted in, in the lake. Perfect. Uh, uh, the the swimming, wading, and fishing provide important information regarding restriction and personal safety. Pets are not allowed 
on Chitwood Cove Trail in the lake or un, un, un attend, unattended tied to, to an object. Okay, should we take a look here? Yeah, it is possible. It is possible to, to have a swim. That's good to know. You have to hike to get there. What does it say about your physical health? This is kind of small, so I'll have uh, Lanfranco. Can you see this? How are your knees and ankles? Go. <laughs> uh, how are your knees and ankles? Uh, and ankles? Do you have yeah. breathing difficult? Difficult? Have you difficulties? Mm -hmm. Have you experienced an any heart condition? Are you acclimated to the high elevation? Did you eat? And are you drinking water? Overall. Overall, good cardiovascular, heart, and physical fitness are recommended. Are recommended to hike to hike the two point two miles round trip. Ah, two round trip. It is not a recommend recommended trial for people with mo with mobility or health concerns. Okay, so if you do that, you got to make sure you're in good health. Okay. Yes, but I, I, I am really interested about that. Let's let's take a look at this one, Silvio. Can you see this writing where it says "walking up the trail"? Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. sure. So I'll try to make it a little bit bigger trail. for you. Yeah, walking okay. up the trail is comparable to climbing sixty-five flights of stairs, given <laughs> the steepness. Steepness also consider the elevation, air temperature, and airborne trail dust and, uh, and smoke. Smoke, smoke, uh, smoke yeah. is there a local wildfires. All of these can adversely affect your ability to ascend Cleetwood. Cove Pro, Trail. Uh, trail. Mm -hmm. It is the best to make frequent rest stop drink and drink water. Water, eat a snack and enjoy the views. Okay, what do you think about so it's only two miles, but it's like 65 flights of stairs. <laughs> That's pretty intense. Lanfranco, can you make it? Yes, of course. You're, you're a sporty guy. You ride your bike all the time, right? This is no problem for you. But I would like to I, I I would like to have a swim to take a swim. This is the this is the best in August maybe. Yeah. No? Yeah, but I think you have to take the hike in order to take the swim. Yes. Can I, you I do it? Off together. Okay, let's try. It. Let's see. Swimming and waiting. Whose turn is it to read? Is it Lanfranco's turn? Yes, swimming, swimming and waiting. And waiting in the lake, especially on a hot summer day, can be can be refreshing and even. Even a bit chilling, of course. During summer, the average surface temperature of the lake is 15 degrees Celsius. 57 <laughs> degrees or 14 degrees Celsius. Uh, four, 14 degrees Celsius. Only bathing suits and basic clothing might be worn in the water. Only bathing, bathing suits. suits. Bathing, bathing suits clothing. and basic clothing. Please read the section below regarding of protection of the lake and what not to bring. Have warm, dry clothing available to immediately immediately put on after being in the lake. Okay. Swimming is only is only allowed with, within one one hundred yards of Chetton Cove and within Cleetwood Cove, eh? Cleetwood Cove, Cleetwood Cove, Cleet Cleetwood Cove, and within. 100 yards of Wizard Island, provided, provided, provided. that mm -hmm. swimmers remain at least provide uh, that remain at least 50 feet of, away from any from any boat. Okay. Boat, dock, or buoy. Buoy. Buoy, buoy, buoy is like buoy. a floating buoy. thing in the water. Yeah. Okay. But it, it, it's possible. If you go, we have we have lakes here in near Bolzano, where in summer. Uh -huh. The temperature is similar, and we sure we, yes, and we 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 have the swim. We take a swim. Sure. Well, here too, so you just have to be careful to protect it. Bet, Very nice. Not. Good. Okay, so you had your thing. Now let's see. 
Uh, Silvio, did you have a place that you want to add to our, our itinerary today? Do you want to try something in Alaska? Uh, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> Let's, Let's try to, can... yeah, try to Google a good attraction in Alaska. <laughs> Let's see, attractions. No, I want to just to tell you that it's the same to say boy or buoy. The, you can pronounce in either, either pronunciation yeah, we, or correct. We say buoy, yeah. <laughs> Boy, boy. So we've got the top sites here are Denali National Park and Preserve, Alaska Wildlife Conservation, the Sea Life Center, and the Glacier Visitor Center. Do those look interesting to you? This week. I oh, think there's, a... that, uh, there's. Let's see. There's there's 17 places or 105 places, 15 places. So we can look at that. 15 best things to do in Alaska, sightseeing and tours, must see in Alaska. Oh, let's sea do life. this one. How about this one? Uh, yeah. I would uh, select Sea Life, you told me earlier. Okay, let's see if it's up there. The Sea Life Museum. Yeah. Sea Life Center. Let's look at the yeah. pictures as they go. Oh, little otter. Ooh. Do you like animals? Yeah. Sea Life. Oh, fun! Sure, uh, I went to the aquarium in Genoa in the in the oh, past. Oh, this year I've never been there before. Nice. Yeah. Those crazy looking ducks. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so we'll definitely have to go there. Yeah, can I also see the national park in Alaska? Sure. Let me go back to where that was. Yeah. That one, I think, I think one. the the sure. biggest national parks in was in the United States are in Alaska. Oh, look at that! Yeah. Oh, there's a bear. Yeah. A grizzly bear. The grizzly bear because they got to go up and they get there. You can get you. Do you ever watch Fat Bear Week? You can watch. Um, there's a. We watch it every year in my association. We put out there's a a live cam. It's called the Bear Cam, and they put it on. The bears, as they're getting fatter and fatter, they eat all the salmon coming, and that gets them ready for the winter. And they have a contest to see who is going to be the fattest bear. So you can make a bet or decide, okay, I think my the fat bear is going to be this one. They, they weigh them at the beginning and at the end to see, or they look at the photos and see who's the fattest. Yeah, I saw I can... some the documentaries, films that basically – the bears they try to catch the salmon uh, close yeah. to the to the waterfalls uh. so in fat bear week <laughs> these are the winning oh. ones otis always wins so otis won in 2016 17 14 but sometimes they have the photos they're pretty funny but you can see the the cam fat bear cam fat bear week.org And they have, you can see that the photos are really funny yeah. and you can vote on them. Oh, cool. <laughs> so they, when they show up at the beginning and at the end, it's crazy. They're all skinny, you know, after the summer, you know, they, oh, here's how it goes. So they, they actually have the, the finals, they have the semifinals and you can see who won. You can meet the bears. Ah, Caroline, you know, that in some parts of Canada and U.S., uh... It's uh, permitted, allowed uh, to basically eat the bears, to kill the bears, and then to uh, process the, the meat and, and to eat the bear meat. Yeah, is that right? Uh, well, you know, in there's a place actually not far, from, you know, in Slovenia, just over the border here, where you can eat bear. I wouldn't do that because I I don't eat meat, but um, <laughs> I I think it would find I would find it a little bit. Um, crazy a little bit uh, uncomfortable for me to eat would you eat the bear uh not really because i i don't like so much meat uh, but i know okay. that in some in some states and provinces of north america is uh, allowed if you have uh, a rifle to basically kill a bear and uh, and then to 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 process for yourself to butcher the, the it has meat. To, well there are rules i mean it's not you can just go i mean there's usually like a time period it's like hunting <sighs> hunting's hi monica we're just finishing <laughs> i'm sorry sorry i come back later no, um, no oh so you have a different class this is where yes yes 
Sorry, I have a week. class of seven fifteen. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> ciao. Um, ciao. So anyway, we, I think you know it's probably true. Yeah, I mean definitely. There's hunting season in Wisconsin. They have all kinds of seasons for that. Bears, I'm not sure, but I'm the the meat is supposed to be good. I don't think I would eat it. Lanfranco, would you eat bear? I don't think that the, the meat, the bear meat, is good. I don't think not for Italian at least. <laughs> I think it's kind of tough. I think you have to. I think you have to make like goulash out of it. I think you have to like really cook it for a long, 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 long yeah, time yeah. because it's yeah. tough. But I, but when I was when I was in America in uh, Endicott. North, north of New York, north of New York uh -huh. City, there were a lot of bears, a lot, a lot of uh, deers, a lot of deer. Oh yeah, sure. And a lot of deer hunters. Lots in, of deer hunters in Wisconsin. Uh, a too. lot of deer hunters, and uh, I think that people eat be, uh, deer too. I think all absolutely. The, all the hunters, of course, they eat, they eat at the end of the, the meat of the of the hunter of the of the deers, and uh, we had uh, in in three in three. I was there few or four weeks. And the two times there was a crash between cars and the, and deers. Two times. Yeah. Because there, there were that happens too. A lot there were. Yeah, lots of them. In fact, they do. They let people hunt them because to keep to bring the population down because there's so many of them. But anyway, good. Well, thank you for the trip today. It was fun discovering a yeah. little bit of fun stuff. Now I I put Crater Lake on my list now, and I put me too, me the. Too. The museum and the wildlife place in Alaska. So I've got some new places to put on my wish list. So thanks. See you next week here online again. And then the week after I will be in uh in Bolzano with you. So that should be fun. Okay. The the topic yeah. of the next one is the title yeah. of the next one I think is uh indigenous tribes or reservations, I think it is. It like Native uh, Native American, American stuff. Native Americans, yeah. Uh, Native Americans. Yeah, which is good because next week is Thanksgiving, so we can tell the other side of the story. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. Great. Have a good week, and I'll see you next week. Okay. See you next okay, week. Okay. Catch you later. Bye.